Hey everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix your Xbox One controller syncing issues and the blinking light issues you're having with your controller. So let's go ahead and jump into this Xbox One tutorial right now. So I'm having a blinking light issue and syncing issue with my controller right now, even though my Xbox One controller is powered on. And I've been synced with this controller recently and just out of the blue, it went ahead and unsynced from the Xbox One, which is very strange. So how do we get this controller synced once again to our Xbox One? The first way I'm going to show you how to try is very easy. It involves pressing the sync button on your controller and the Xbox One at the same time. However, did you know that your controller may not be in sync mode even though your light is blinking on the front of the controller? There's two different speeds to the light blinking on your controller. One is a little bit slower blink and the other is a faster blink like this controller right now. This faster blink means your controller is in bind mode. When you press the sync button, which is also called the bind button on the controller, it will blink fast like this, meaning your Xbox One controller is searching for available consoles to connect to. So if your controller is not blinking fast, you haven't pressed down the bind button on the controller long enough. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, so I have my Xbox One controller right in here. And here is the bind button on the controller, right on the back between the L1 and the R1 buttons. Go ahead and press and hold this button down for at least a second. And you'll see the face button on the controller is actually blinking a lot faster now. So make sure it's in the faster blink mode. Once you have it blinking on the controller, go ahead and look at your console. Now under the Xbox button on the console itself, there will be another button that will look very similar to the sync slash bind button on the controller. Go ahead and press that. It will be right near my pointer finger right here. And it will put your Xbox One into sync mode. And as you can see, the two lights are syncing up to each other. So if that way doesn't work, let's go on to step number two. And that involves using a USB to micro USB cable. And this is most commonly found with cell phones and cameras. So let's go ahead and plug the USB in into my console. And then the micro USB in into my controller and at this point in time your controller should be synced to your Xbox One. Now you should be able to just unplug the USB cable from your controller and it should connect to your Xbox One wirelessly now. Now if that doesn't work go ahead and plug in your controller and go ahead and press and hold this button on the console for about 10 seconds and it will completely power off your Xbox One. So my Xbox One is turned off. Now wait about 10 seconds for the fan to slow down and then go to the back of the console right here. Take the power cord and unplug the power cord from the Xbox One. So the power cord is disconnected. Now wait about 30 seconds and then plug the power cord back into your console. All right, so it's been about 30 seconds. The power cord is back in. Let's spin my console around now. Now, go ahead and take your controller that's plugged in with the USB cable and press down the Xbox button. And it's gonna turn on your Xbox One console. Now, when your console powers on, you should be able to disconnect the micro USB cable from your Xbox One controller and it should work. So it's looking for the console and it's synced up with my Xbox One. If this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more Xbox One help videos coming up next on your six studios.